out there driving a car you built. How does it feel? It feels insane. <laughs> I gotta ask the one question though. Do you get scared? If you're not scared, you're not going fast enough. Okay. I have a better question. Now that you got this thing, can we drive the unicorn? <laughs> <laughs> Pegasus is alive. It's alive. Finally, the moment we've been waiting for, we get to hear this bad boy. We get to hear this bad boy. I got the air for the first time. <laughs> for the first time. We've all been waiting for it. I know he's been waiting for it. We partnered with Mobile One to build the craziest Porsche 911 that probably ever existed. Fully carbon fiber, all wheel drive, makes like 1500 horsepower. Ken gets to drive it up Pikes Peak. I'd actually say it's one of the wildest and most unique 911s ever built. Two turbos. It breathes <laughs> meth and shoots fire. What is it with this guy in meth? I don't know. This guy's yeah. addicted to meth. <laughs> <laughs> This thing just started for the first time, like, hours ago. <laughs> That's hot. The funny thing is we did the launch event of the car, the concept itself, and... We launched a non-running car. Yeah, we had a launch date on the calendar that we kind of had to do for certain reasons, but, like, Porsche hadn't delivered the race engine yet. But now, this is a couple weeks later, we're at our first test. We're in Pueblo, which is a bit south of Colorado Springs. Uh, we're at elevation. It's four or 5,000 feet here. So this is our first proper test to kind of do all the systems check, everything today. And tomorrow, we start actually pushing the car much harder. But today, but Tim's doing a bunch of running in the car to basically start the process of doing all the systems check, making sure everything's working perfect before I get in the car. Is that part weird? Seeing, uh, seeing your car drive away? Yeah, that is always a little weird. Officer, he's stealing my car! I gotta ask the one question though. I'm sure everyone else wonders. Do you get scared? Do you not have fear? Um, if you're not scared, you're not going fast enough. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good answer. Yeah, Good that answer. works. I have a better question. Now that you got this thing, can we drive the unicorn? <laughs> Forever going to be a no. <laughs> you got to shoot your shot. Kobe. Well, we're gonna go watch you race car drive. Just keep the unicorn thing in mind. <laughs> yeah, think about it. It plays really well think in Forza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have to What would you now. do with it? I don't smash it. Sp don't smash that's, it. That's, that's, the wrong, that's the wrong thing to say. <laughs> you blew it! We just did, I think, four four laps. We went over the brakes, a little bit of suspension, but I mean, obviously, you can tell a little story, but you don't know what the car's really gonna do. It's still on cold tires, unbedded brakes, but mechanically, everything works. It shifts, it brakes, it turns, it feels good. It's not surprising. It's very comfortable to drive at this speed. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be frightening with, with some horsepower, but right now, we're running at about 200 horsepower. We're going through it, we're looking at the engine, we're breaking it all in, running the CV axles in. It needs a stiffer setup, and we ran it high in what we call service mode, so it's all the way up, so we just so I'm not taking, hitting anything or ruining any carbon right now. All in all, unbelievable. Ken's gonna be really, really happy. You ready? Yeah.
Ken Block out there driving a car you built. How does it feel? It feels insane. That's yeah. a little childhood dream, even though I'm not a child, I'm old. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> it is a dream no matter how you look at it. You're uh, also kind of delirious because you didn't sleep for the last like 40 yeah. hours. Oh. It's been, yeah, it's been a long run. Yeah, but I don't like being used to that, okay? <laughs> yeah. I don't like being used to that. It's not endearing. Yeah, That's but at cool. least it's happening now and not in two weeks. Yeah. yeah. The day before yeah, the mountain. Yeah, no, this is great. This, yeah. is, um, this is awesome. I, I can't wait for him to drive it tomorrow when we just actually give it some boost. Right now, 30% throttle, waste gates are wide open, no shaft speed on turbos. It's in vacuum still, so it's like... Well, 30% throttle, so it's probably making like 300 horsepower. Not even that. It feels like it's making like 150 horsepower. Yeah. Well, it's cool. Simple shakedown day. Got this thing going. I mean, BBI and Hooning and Racing team doing all the science, all the brain things brain to get stuff. this thing to work. Stuff. Tomorrow, we could go rip on it and not break it. If this were like regular Hooning it, we would have went out full tilt right off the bat, blew it up. I'm no. breaking it in. You broken it in. Yeah, you, I, broke oh, usually, it, I broke it in. You usually in. broken it in. Yeah. Today was a slew of teething issues and learning new things about the car that we didn't anticipate, but it's making a little bit of boost now, so it's not like a 100 horsepower. You can get through the revs. Ideas for Ken to be able to just push it a little harder in the corner and actually feel what the chassis is doing, and so he can get an understanding and then make a game plan for driving it when it's full power. And then the other thing is, if everything goes well, we'll put Ken in and simulate a hard 10 minute run. I mean, we're gonna be in the eights, but a hard 10 minute run, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> hard 10 minute run with the hotter temperatures here just to kind of stress test the whole system and that's that's really what the job is today so we need to feel see fuel consumption we need to see heat and what things are doing right doing one or two laps at a time doesn't simulate the mountain so right. good okay. let's get after it okay That's not even full tilt. That's that, nowhere near yeah, full tilt. Yeah, that's not even close to full tilt, and that thing still sounds pretty spicy. Yeah. tiny little track it's doing exceptional so we've only done a couple of small changes slowly adjusting a few things and I'm just getting used to it it's great just getting a feel for what the car is doing the learning and the development is all here it's what we're set up for and uh, that's yeah, fun cars moving that's yeah, positive no, it's good started a process now with um, adding performance and basically get some feedback on the chassis side so pushing the tires see what they are it's the birth of the car really when you look at it as an, as a, as an icon car it's just working out all the problems and dialing out everything and hopefully at the end of the end of the day we've, we see the bit of light at the end of the tunnel I think oh yeah up.
day one of driving the Huna Pegasus. How are you feeling? Good, a little nervous, but good. There's a lot of development. There's a lot of sitting around. There's a lot of stuff happening today that I usually don't show up Because this is like <laughs> early, early development. Yeah, right. big shakedown. We have a few issues with suspension setup where the car is kind of snap over steering on me. Much better for that to happen here on a track where there's sand around, yeah, yeah. And gravel around the track, as opposed to on the mountain where there's trees at the edge. Yeah, you it's, know? it's crazy because it's like this car got put together, unveiled, only rolled under its own power yesterday. It's and today, by the way, we're shutting down now because there's a fire over there. It's been going for a minute. Right, and, and the guy that was our fire marshal on site here had to leave to go help fight that fire. Yeah. So I said it was day one of you driving the car, but you actually got like two or three laps in the car with no boost yeah. or anything yesterday. They gave you about 17 pounds or something like that today. Yeah. How big of a difference did that make? Uh, it's a big difference. I can actually go through the gears and go fast down the straightaway and really lean on the car with the corners. It's starting to actually feel the brakes and the tires actually get heated up and start really working. And it's actually nice to do that with this lower horsepower. That's about 50% of the power we'll have once we start racing, as opposed to just being frightened with 1400 right, horsepower. Right. <laughs> it's good to have seat time. Seat time is king. Yeah. yeah. That and then looks like a lot of smart people back there doing the thing. So I'm sure they'll get Thanks. the car set up. <laughs> no I mean, there's two laptops running hot right now. Beep boop. <laughs> well, yeah, see you on the mountain. I can't believe yeah. he was telling us he's going to let us drive the unicorn. Yeah. He said it, right? He's he said it. I fucked up and I said I was going to smash it, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Go in and help yourself. I thought out loud. <laughs> <laughs>